You are all alumni of the University of East Anglia, the UEA. Is this going to be a sanity role? One of the things that you remember very fondly... Brahman. Brahman. ...if with a certain haziness... It's all a bit sensitive. ...was your time as a member of the UEA Occult Society. I may be awkward, but I'm not a complete moron. ...known simply as The Society, or more informally, Oxock. Oxock. And then you met David. I still want to hear what David said. David and the Oxock were about truth. It's where dreams go to die. In the October of your final year in 2000... David invited you and all the other committee members to take part in a great happening. Have a run. You have vague images of two black discs and a third golden circle. Do a bit of yoga. And that was when you cut your hand. Could you hook me up today? That night was a watershed for the society. Things were somehow never the same between you all. In that way that it just sometimes happens, things just fell apart. I I just need cash. Mine would be ritual, because I'm a devout pagan. I do believe in foresight. You did not expect... Sarah Moore to be the one who would bring you all together. Having been the treasurer on uh, society. She suggested meeting at the coffee house, Cinema City. I'm in Norwich today because there's a big uh, antiques fair. At dawn, I will take ramen for a, a walk down on the. <laughs> well. Ramen? <laughs> oh, ramen, yeah. He's my multipoo. Multipoo. <laughs> um, <laughs> There was something about the tone of Sarah's message that she really, really wanted you to be there. B- bringing, bringing everyone, you know, back together, really. She implied that she had a favour to ask. Haven't seen Ray or Melinda for a long time. And only you guys would really understand. She's taken a room in the Premier Inn. Could you be there this coming weekend? Ray will be at, straight out for exercise. Friday the 28th of October. A lot of my clients would be really quite anxious. Basically, the long and short of it is I lost my most recent position at the Herald. Alicia Yuko. It's pronounced Alicia. One of my most valuable finances is based in Norwich. Um, I run an antique shop in Lowestoft. I currently am living in a camper van. Starpoint Games have moved down to Norwich. Perfect, because I was keen to begin with breakfast. (laughs) It is the most important meal of the day. Oh, my God, Eric. I, I can't say I've got kids myself. I've got a job interview for local events. Shite job, but, it, you know. I'm not a real person, Melinda. I need money. I'm, I'm the God voice in your head. I put my head in my hands and I go, oh, shit, oh, shit. I don't need your pity either. Yeah, well, it's not really an ulterior motive. I used to hear voices. No, it's not. Listen, it's not like that. Alicia. What's happened, Sarah? Look, you remember David. Of course we all remember David. Is everything all right? Yeah, he married Bridget. A long time ago. I'd always held a bit of a torch for him, and I... Do they do a turmeric latte? Well, look, something happened. We we got together. Lovely to meet up with old friends. Yeah. We just kept seeing each other. I don't know what it's like to have kids. About a decade ago, we got really seriously thinking about it, and... He wanted us to have a moon child. We wanted the disposable income. <laughs> Could you all roll your occult? What are you saying? You're saying that you, ha- you had a baby with David? Oh, Lee, he's such a special boy. He's my Sean. What I consider a moon child to be in the cult terms. It is a child of the goddess. Right. It is a child conceived in a magical ritual. Okay, I'm properly freaked out now. I think maybe he's got getting ill again, maybe. I don't know. He's... Does Bridget know about what's happening? He sounds so desperate. He's, he says that he's going to take Sean away. Yeah, wait, what, what a minute. Where's, where's Bridget in all this? I've never told Bridget. We've never told Bridget. So it doesn't have to be a product of infidelity. He says the goddess has spoken to him, has demanded payment. Right, look, Sarah, you've been looking after Sean. He says his, the payment is blood. I'll get, another, I'll get another round of drinks. He's chosen, he's chosen the members of the, of the society. I think I'll put my arm around her and give her a bit of a hug. There, there. He was in a rage and I I didn't believe him. I thought he was joking. I thought he was just angry and mad, but then... Uh, I'll get a tissue from the bar. (laughs) Stacey Kimball. Stacey, you remember Stacey? She's, like, she's in the madhouse. It's not that simple. And if that's not enough, look at me, look at me. Sarah. Sarah. Alicia, how do you think Gary died? You what? It doesn't make sense, it doesn't... Gary died in a motorbike accident. Do you know what they call motorcyclists? Organ donors. He's gone crazy. I think he's just gone crazy. Sarah, hang on. What are you... And he he said to me, you don't want to end up like some of your friends and some of their partners. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, how do you think people die? They die because they've got power. What? Maybe, okay, maybe... Hang on. I don't know. He said, he said he killed my Gary. (laughs) It's all right. It's all right. Let's let let's try and keep our voices down. All right, Sarah. I need to know this. How did he imply it? What did he say? He heard about your poor Gary's death, and he used that as part of these mind games that he's playing. Yeah, yeah. raise right, raise 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 right. <laughs> Ramen. Sh- all right, all right. 
I believe you're right. I believe you're right. But I need to hear from Sarah the words that the words that David used. Right, Sarah, two big mouthfuls of that G&T. Melinda, you see for a moment, it's almost like she looks a bit absent. Tell us calmly what this is all about. Almost like her head just sort of say lols. Hey, that's the shit the dreams are made of. We like to drink with Sarah. It's an extreme success. Let's keep calm, all right. Extreme, Alicia. Here we go. And you see someone step away from behind Eric Wilson in the reflection of her eyes. (gasps) Oh! A pale face with long black hair, maybe? I've got two questions. If I whip round, is there anyone there? You can't see anyone there now. Is this going to be a sanity roll, was my second question. That will be a sanity roll. I might as well have stayed in London. I failed. I failed. I failed. Apocalypse Players present The Moonchild by Paul Fricker A 7th edition Call of Cthulhu scenario from the Nameless Horrors collection Starring Dominic Allen as Alicia Juico Danan McAleer as Ray West Jeannie Spark as Melinda Moody. Dan Wheeler as Eric Wilson. And Joseph Chance as your keeper of the arcane lore. bands that releases like two albums a year and they're all good but like their discography is just impossible to catch up with because they're just like on one um also I, I i missed like 10 seconds but i feel like it was a, the essential moment and i think i caught up with what had been revealed but it's basically like the moon child he wanted to have is her son sean y- yeah did you miss that that she had with him that's certainly what she said sarah said uh, whether you believe her is another question entirely but I, I caught up, but I was just double-checking that's what the revelation sort of was. So, yeah, she said he persuaded her, but she wanted to, I mean... Yes, which is tricky language, right? Uh, Alicia asked, cool. but were you really persuaded? And, and she said, no, I really wanted to. He wanted to have a moon child with me. Yeah, but that's what a lot of people say before they're deprogrammed. <laughs> a child of the goddess. Yeah. I'll save any other thoughts for the actual discussion in character. Yeah, but, but you all but you all know that that is a child conceived uh, during a magical ritual. Yeah. And we also, the last ritual we sort of did before the society collapsed was something to do with the, the, the mother goddess. And is that linked in any way? Oh, I should be asking. Well, wow. well. Wow. I did feel my palm itching slightly during her. Interesting. Is that is that what Ray thinks? Is that what Ray thinks? Potentially, but I can save that for one week. Yeah. Because I failed my yeah. occult role, yeah. so it's probably not right. But like, uh, no, no, it's very particular in saying that you have enough occult to know. Yeah. I, I quite like the fact that it it reassures us there that. Yeah. A bit like ourselves. A bit like ourselves. Yeah. If someone said to us, "Oh, yeah, you know, they had a moon child," we go. Well, that sounds like some kind of a cult blessed child yeah, yeah. situation. I don't know what I know, but I, it sounds like yeah, it sounds like yeah. an occult baby. Doesn't yeah. It? yeah, you will know that that's what that's what that means. A moon calf. So we'll we'll pick up from the um, failed sand roll. Can I just can I just check? Um, what did you roll there, Dom? I rolled a sixty-six on my fifty-five sanity. Oh dear. Yeah. 
Um, I do think that that is a loss of one sanity. Lovely. Burn. You no. you don't see anyone moving away behind Eric, but you you are a hundred percent sure that Melinda definitely saw something happening as well. And I think, Melinda, you pick up on Alicia's state um, and become aware that she also saw something. So the two of you have seen this thing. As an involuntary action, I might drop my gin and tonic glass that smashes (laughs) and and sets the dog off barking. (laughs) But then then Melinda and I lock eyes. And, and at the same time, Sarah says, Oh, I've been so... I've been so rude, Eric. Eric, you've not been well. I can see that. I can see you've not been well. And here I am just talking about my problems. I'm so sorry. Is it bad? Uh, uh, you know... Uh, what... What do you mean? Uh, what, what do you... What... Oh, your gin. Oh... Oh, and she, it's like she suddenly come back to herself after that moment of sort of saying this thing. So she said the thing about Eric, and then her eyes focus again. What, what do you mean? I, what, what do you mean I'm ill? What, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm, uh... No, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I uh, don't know what you mean. Eric? The big tall guy from the bar comes over as you say that and goes, Is everything all right here, guys? Fine, yeah. yeah. I can clear that up. Sorry. Yeah, slippy fingers. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks, yeah. Uh, do you want, uh, oh, don't Lisa, worry. Would, do you want another one? Uh, one, one, more, one more gin and tonic. Anyone else? You. Let me get, let me get... Let me get yeah, some more drink. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah and, and is that all right? Do, do you do table service? We can... Uh, I'll, I'll send uh, Davina over with them. Oh, fantastic. Thank, thank you. He's fallen out of time since Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it was coming. <laughs> uh-huh. He goes over... He goes back over to the bar and seems satisfied. Calls the police. <laughs> they arrive. Beat the shit out of us. End of story. Um, <laughs> you were arrested. You scored seven points. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I excuse me. Do you, do you mind if I? Do, uh, sorry, I, I just um, <laughs> just need to use the bathroom. Thanks so much for getting those drinks. And yeah, thanks. S- sorry, Eric. Sorry. No, I'm 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 fine. I'm really. I just um I just uh just need a. I don't know if anyone else slash maybe no you hadn't told. I'm sorry. I don't, no, I don't, I don't know. I think you must have got me confused with someone else. I don't. I don't really know what you're talking about. Uh, but I just. Right, I'll, I'll be right let's back. Just have a drink. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. So sorry. See you in a moment. And I, I, I rush to the gents. She starts sort of nervously fiddling with a, a napkin while he rushes to the gents. What's wrong with him, Sarah? What? What did you mean? Oh, I, well, maybe I shouldn't say anything. I just. No, go on. I thought go you on. all knew. Sorry. Well, go on. Tell us. What? Did you see something? Well, he's got... He's got cancer, hasn't he? What? Fuck. I didn't know. We cut to the bathroom where Eric Wilson is... Cooking meth. (laughs) Well, (laughs) I am... I am... Ding! Message. You've got a message from your friend. Ah, well, I mean, I sent my friend a message first thing this morning in Woking. But, you got a message from your friend. But fine. Okay, uh, great. What does it say? Where do you want to meet? Christ. Um, uh, I, I just t- tap back quickly. Um, change of plan. Do you know anyone near Norwich? He just texts back two words. The Mecca. <laughs> the Mecca. <laughs> Always at the bingo. Mecca bingo, is that what he's talking about? He is, isn't it? Well, it's either that or a long plane trip. <laughs> and then you get another message involving all sorts of emoticons. Hmm. Emojis, I believe we call them, actually. Emoticons, Jesus Christ. Emoticons. I'm, I'm, 70 years, I'm suddenly 70 years old. It's because I'm trying to multitask and, and put some music on. 1895. The emoticons. You made fun of me saying, <laughs> saying, <laughs> right on the floor laughing, no one says that, but... I mean... Who, <laughs> does no one say that? Yeah. Hey. Do you know well, what? They do in you the early do. noughties. Yeah, but we're in oh, 2022. Well, 20 years <laughs> later. People of a certain age, perhaps. Um, so uh, the next one says, "Easy to get stuff in there." Okay, I just I just text back thanks, and I st- I study myself in the mirror, which is why I came in here. I'm sort of like pulling down my the my eye, looking in my eyes, like Could you hook me up today? checking my face and my teeth, trying to work out check your real face, try, trying to work out like. What she see? What she seen? To... Well, remind us of what you look like. Well, I'm. 
on a uh, drip. I'm a big man, but I'm out of shape. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're dragging it around with you everywhere. Uh, I think I, I look... I'm overweight. I'm over it. look like a shuttlecock. Uh, and I think I look a bit, maybe a bit sort of clammy. Uh, but, like, I, I suppose I look a bit unwell. Um, but... But I don't think I don't think I look so unwell that people would be like, "Oh God, what's wrong with him?" I think I look um, just a little bit like unhealthy. Like maybe maybe I don't maybe I don't eat very healthily, or I need to do a bit more exercise. Um, I, I, like I've got quite it's kind of quite a youngish face, just like kind of mm. pudgy, almost babyish. <laughs> and I keep it in the fridge. Oh. <laughs> Keep, keep your young face in the fridge and you put it on every day, don't you? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Shuttlecock got me. <laughs> <laughs> Shuttlecock. Um, so you're, you're having a little look and you kind of you feel the, the cool clamminess on your cheeks and you, and you do, you sort of, yeah. you pull one eye, lower eyelid down and sort of look and the first eye looks fine and then you pull the other eyelid down and it, and it just starts to slightly pull away. Oh. Uh. Oh. From your face. I knew you were going to do that. Why did I give you that? Bloodless um, eyelid. Could you hook me up? Tonight? Well, like my cheek pulls away from Yeah, my... yeah. Just, just, if I take my glasses oh, off, you'll God. get more of an idea of it. That sort of, sort of true sense of like the... Yeah, yeah. It's like the flesh yeah. is slightly pulling down. Um, could you give me a, um, could you give me an intelligence roll? Yeah. Well, now that is, I think, what's known in the business as an extreme success. Yeah. Something's happening. Something very uncomfortable is happening. Because this, is happening this, much? this looks real. This looks real. This morning, the stuff this morning, like the finger in the, in the oats, oh, it was early in the day, it was easy to dismiss. And But this looks real. You, maybe, you understand maybe. it. Maybe, maybe things are just... It feels like things are progressing much faster than they, they, they said they would. Could you um, give me a power roll? Oh, God. Mm. Ah! <laughs> now, now, now the bad rolls. Um, no, that's a fail. That's a fail. Yeah. Yeah. You're just kind of conscious that it's pulled down. It, you sort of try and push it back up, but it's, it's just, it won't go back up. It's just slightly... <laughs> it's just like four millimetres lower than it should be, and it's got showing too much white. And you sort of, you sort of begin to slightly panic about it, I think. And you're sort of pushing the cheek back up, and you're checking the other one's okay. The other one doesn't seem loose. And then you sort of, you're checking, is there anything else loose in your mouth? And you're sort of like checking your teeth, are they loose? Or, and you're just, you're opening your mouth wider and wider as your hands are kind of going into your mouth, trying to just, just check that out. Uh, and then, and then you're just, you're fine. You're just looking in the mirror with your hands in your mouth, and you're fine. Could you roll sanity for me? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, well, great. That's a fail. Yeah, you're going to lose one sanity. Sure. One sanity. Okay. God, you're hard, mate. Okay, well. That'll do me in. Um, I think maybe there is... Maybe there's an involuntary action, though, which is that I, I go into the stall and I, I vomit up that last gin and tonic. I think you just get there. There's, there's a, yeah. a bit hits your shoe, but but yeah. you're, but that's from a splash on the floor. It's not really like, you haven't vomited on your shoe, so you, it's all wipeable away. <coughs> 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 Always with the vomit. Always. Always with the vomit. Meanwhile, back outside. Oh, you're a fine one. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Jesus. Um, the, I clean myself up. I'm biting yeah, my yeah. While he's While he's in the bathroom, um, yeah, I, I thought... I thought maybe you all knew. I'm really sorry. I've made such a fool of myself. Fucking hell, Sarah. What kind of... Maybe I shouldn't have another drink. (laughs) Okay, first of all, stop being so hard on yourself. Second of all, what sort of cancer? Well, if he hasn't told you, then I shouldn't say anything, should I? It's just Just, silly. Yeah. You know, sometimes I used to... Asking myself. Sorry, Ray. No, no, I was just saying, Did have you been messaging? Is that how you know? No. No, it was only the messages that I sent to all of you. So, you've, you've you've sensed it. You know, sometimes I could. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't have your gift, Melinda, and I was never like John with the cards. But 
Sometimes I could see things. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of a fire in her eyes, and in that moment she then checks her, her watch and goes, Look, I should probably go back and check on Sean. No, no, listen. One, one of us can check on Sean, or we can get someone to check on Sean, get a family friend to check on Sean, maybe get him to come here. We can put you up, I can pay for a hotel room for the night, but I don't want you being in a place, none of us want you in a place you don't feel safe. Oh, Ray. To keep talking about this. Well, it's, so, it's so sweet of you. I, I hadn't really thought it through, to be honest. I'm just so glad that you'd all come, and I just, I feel really... Absolutely. I mean, it's Stacey's... Stacey, I mean, they basically locked her up in a ward. I mean... So what happened to Stacey? What, why is she there? She's gone totally crazy. She's gone totally you, crazy. What did she do? Can you tell us what she did? Or said? Or what, what happened? Look, I've got to get back to Sean and Angelica. I can't leave them. I, I feel really bad about it. I feel really bad. I feel so sorry for Eric. I shouldn't have said that. I blabbed, I blabbed and I, I shouldn't. Oh, Alicia. And she grabs Alicia's hand again because there was that contact. And you feel this sort of cold sweat in the palm of her hand. Sarah, what are you doing tomorrow? Why don't you come to the antiques fair with me? It'll be relaxing. M- maybe, I, <laughs> maybe I could bring Sean. Maybe Sean would like that. I think Angelica's idea. busy. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that would be lovely. That would be so lovely. I feel like I made a real fool of myself, but... No, you haven't. I just, I, I feel like... Sometimes I feel like David's watching me as well, and I I, I don't want to... I feel like what, some of what, maybe all of us should should escort you home. Yeah, I agree with that. I think we should all stick together and get you home. Get you home in one piece, safe and sound. <clears throat> Perhaps it might be a bit much for all of us to go to the house itself, but we should all go together. I think you're right. But we don't want to cause... I say, I'm sure you don't want us to cause a scene. It won't be anything like that, but we've got to make sure that you're, you're safe. And if you, you're worried this... <sighs> Look, we don't know David anymore. You know him no. better than us. We knew him. But it sounds like he's become quite a toxic individual. And, I, yes. Is, is, um... I'm concerned. I know we're all concerned. You see an array of conflicted emotions. Uh, Alicia's sort of about to speak. And Alicia, I think you're the first person to see Eric coming back from the bathroom in that point. Mm-hmm. But, but what were you going to say, Alicia? Is, um, is your husband still on the scene, Sarah? Oh, no, I was never married. Oh, uh, so Angelica's father okay. is not... I've really got to go. I've really got to go. I feel like I've made a terrible fool of myself. I, so, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, oh, no. She sort Sarah, of scrabbles around in her please, bag and she's no, going, no, no, let me get, don't leave give you some money. Don't leave on my behalf. It's uh, it's really fine. It's um, it, it, uh, it's just a misunderstanding. Don't don't go on my behalf. See, let's, let's, let's all... Let's talk, talk this out. Please stay. Yes. Don't go. But I should go back and check on them. Well, but let us all come with you. My place is just... I've had a really tough time of it. I'm, I mean, I can't... You've got places to stay, right? Where, where are you living, Sarah? Are you local? Are you, local? Are you, are you, uh, are you far away? I'm out in Old Catton. All of you. Go. Old Catton. Oh. Old Catton? Oh. Old Catton? Old Catton. Actually, go on your own. <laughs> it's essentially what you all think. <laughs> Like, rough. I don't say that, to be clear. Yeah. Right. Well, listen, um, Sarah, I've a hire car. We could all fit in. It'll be a bit of a squeeze, but I'm sure one of you wouldn't mind having Raman on your lap. Now, we'll drive you over if you want to go and check on the Wii, and we'll drive you over, and then, yeah, oh, we'll see you from there. But yeah, of course. we don't want you going on your own. Well, that's very kind of you. I, I just do anything to, you know... Get you on side. I don't know if David's a bad man. I, I don't feel like he is, but he's just so unlike himself no, now. He's become no, so angry. I just, ask, where, where, just so we've got all the, 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 you know, all the sort of moving parts in place. Where, where's, where's David living now? Where's, is he? Is he's he, still on the unthanked road. Okay, he's close. He's no, it's nice, nice, nice part of town. He's nearby as well. I understand why you might be scared with him so close. Wait, so... Well, he's just... He's actually just off the unthanked road. I, t- I don't want to give the impression that I'm totally scared of him. I just... I'm gonna, I still I still love him. I just... No. Oh, it's absolutely. all right. It's all right. She turns her sort of scrabbling around that looked like it was looking for money to, to getting a tissue out and a handkerchief or whatever, and she's not a tissue. Is we're not here to... We're not here to make him into a villain, but we're listening to you, and it sounds like you're in a spot of trouble. 
and it sounds like he hasn't been the nicest person. We're not calling him a bad guy. Maybe he's struggling with something himself, but it sounds like you're not safe. So we're not going to have you going back on your own. Thanks, Ray. Thank- you, you get the impression she's starting to sort of slowly sob. Uh, and you, like, yeah. she might be listening to you. You're not a hundred percent sure yeah. she is. <clears throat> um, I think I um, I let Raman out of his papoose and let him go and uh, sort of nuzzle around her because he's quite good with emotional people. She does smile. Very she smart. does smile. Is yeah. he a therapy dog? Could be he now. Is now. Could be now. There we go. His first job. Uh, <laughs> can I ask? Having like her having. Um, said that thing about me mm. which I can't, I can't I cannot work out where she's got that from mm-hmm. but I don't believe that it's a like a psychic feat mm. um, so I am now I do now have this tiny little nagging suspicion that there is that there is some sort of confidence trick going on here mm. so is is would would you allow me a psychology role to see whether there is whether she is manufacturing an element of this story in order to I certainly would mislead us I certainly would give you a psychology role thank you very much um oh mm, 60 on a 40 40 is not bad I'm tempted to push it mm, what could possibly go wrong right mm. um yeah I, uh, oh, no, I, I, (laughs) should I push it? I think you've picked up on something. I think with a 60 on a 40, what what I'd give you is this. You've definitely seen a change in behaviour between Alicia and Melinda. You're not about, about how they've been observing her, but you get the feeling they're not looking with the same cool scrutiny in this moment that you have been. I, uh, do you know what? I would like to push it, and I, I would like to push it by. Um, uh, I've, I, I imagine I've returned to my seat, which I think is kind of right next to her. Right, that's why we've ended up. She's ended up looking so closely. Exactly, exactly. So I, I just sort of or it's, it's sort of almost next to directly opposite that sort of curve of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so returning to my seat, I sort of lean into her and I say, um, "Listen, Sarah, I, I am." Um, yeah, you know, I understand you uh, it, it, things can be difficult. You're looking after two children yourself, you know, school age children, you're probably thinking about university and other commitments that are coming up. Um I'm I'm very happy to uh, you know, when when we sort this all calms down, I'm very happy to have, you know, a little consultation with you about uh, your finances and we could talk about how you might be able to restructure any debts you have or um <laughs> or perhaps think about some wise investments that might be able to serve your um, your children, your two children now through their, you know, further oh. education. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Eric. oh, that's really kind. That's really kind, Eric. Uh, her eyes flash at uh, you. Give us the roll. Uh, yeah. So basically, I'm, I'm sort of. Is, is, is there any evidence that money is a that money is a fact? I got it. Jeez. I got it. Good. You got it. <laughs> no, that's even worse. Ninety-two. Her eyes flash at you, and she looks really angry for a split second. She goes, "Wait a second. You, you think? Oh my God! You think this is about? Oh my God! You think this is about money? And she raises her voice. She goes, "This isn't about money. This is about love, Eric." And she stands up. She goes, "This is about love. I love him. I love, I love Sean." And she starts shouting. I love him and I love Sean. And this is what you want to be. Fine. Every, everything comes down to money in the end. That's not. Fine. I'm not making any. She cut. picks up her gin and she throws it at you. <laughs> oh God. Oh, all, all right. We all just need to cut. We all need to calm down. We all need to calm down. All right. Does there, is there a problem here? No, we're all... There isn't. Davina comes over. I've got more gin and tonics. <laughs> She's got this tray of... She bursts into tears. Oh, God. Is it because they're terrible? Is it because... It's all right. I think we should take these all outside. Should we all... Should we, should we take these two? Should we Should we go outside? Yeah. yeah. I think we should go outside. I'm, le- I'm leaving. Right, I'm on. leaving. Yeah, yeah. She says she's leaving and she starts storming off out. Uh, Sarah We're does. coming too? We're coming too? Uh, she doesn't seem to be waiting yeah. for you. I'm going to try and grab her wrist. Just g- gently, but but firmly. Nice. Uh, give me a give me a dexterity roll. Well, that sounds easy enough, doesn't it? Um, doesn't it? <laughs> where's my dice? Pick up the right ones. Can't see anything in the door. Dexterity, you say? 
It's probably the shadow of that figure behind you. Ooh. Probably no, tell them to move. Stop it. Ooh. I don't like it. That's a <clears throat> 50. That's a 57 on a 55, and I'm going to spend the luck. Mm. Okay, right. Well, for luck, nice. because she's fumbled, she sort of slips a bit, um, and uh, you get her arm, and it's she's got a cardigan, uh, and you and you push the arm of the cardigan up, and you see a track mark, and she quickly, hastily puts it down. Like a what kind uh, of track mark? Like a like in the vein, or like a like a tire. <laughs> you, you think a heroine? Ah, think right. a heroine. It's her left <laughs> t- <clears throat> tiny little pixel. I don't know. What, I don't know what David's been doing to her. He might be driving over her arm or something. <laughs> it's, it's him in his miniature train. It's her left hand. It's her left hand. You grab, <laughs> mm. uh, and you see a, a, a heroin track mark. Mm. You're pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. She goes. Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. I ever asked you for help. I'm sorry. I just so need help. We want to help. God, <laughs> but you have got it. You have got it by the by the wrist. You need to take some deep breaths now. I'm so sorry. Some de- big deep breaths. Let's get some fresh air, and we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you, Sarah. All right. I'm so sorry. The, stop apologising, for fuck's sake. <laughs> she slumps as you say that, and I think you're a bedraggled mess. And there's some money changes hands, and mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I cover the drinks and, and leave quite a big tip as well. Good Eric's just trying to help as well. He didn't mean to offend you. He means well. You're standing outside Cinema City with Sarah Moore crying. You have won session one. And with session one's win, you get the following handout. Ooh. Ooh. One, one session one. I feel like we've ever won session one before. <laughs> um, why are you doing that, Joseph? Can I ask you, are we working with genuine locations in Norwich? We certainly are. Okay, so... Cinema uh, City, um, Suckling Hall, St Andrews. Great. Yeah, I took his advice. Yeah, Paul Fricker does say, set it somewhere you know. He actually sets the original, as it were, in Northampton, but he specifically says, I've only chosen there because I knew it well enough to stitch a story together using the bare bones of that place um, and so I'm going to use Norwich uh, because of course I, I, I'm, I freely admit that I'm basing it on my Norwich of 20 for nine years ago <laughs> so yeah but we're using real locations that's what I'm saying or as real as I can remember them to be that covers a multitude of sins doesn't it anyway what I've sent you there is the family tree sun and moon it does have a particularly... In this, the new um, edition of Nameless Horrors. Are you working with the new edition? By our good friends of Jackson and Elias. Juicy. We have a beautiful green faded piece of paper, giving the impression that it might have been sort of, I don't know, from the 1990s maybe. And it has on it this wonderful sort of folk image of a tree, doesn't it? Mm. Tell us, Tell us more of what you see, guys. Well, this handout. It's an RPG aid, this is. On the sun side, we've got a big tree, and we've got a sun on the left-hand side, we've got a moon on the right. A crescent moon. And on the left, we've got Sarah Moore and Angelica Moore's parents, which is Sarah Moore and Father Father. Unknown. Mm. And then, on the other side, connecting to David Barber via an affair, we have the child Sean Moore... And then David and Bridget have a son called Michael. And it's Michael that you've just been hearing about from Sarah, as I think the plan was still to take her to the car, was it, and sort of get home? Is that I don't want to yeah. lead you astray. Yeah. And she lives where? She lives in Old Catton. She lives in Old Catton, which is on the outskirts. Actually, it might be Catton. Catton. Rougher estate. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's it's sort of it's on the edge of Norwich. I think I've got it right, Dan. No, it's, no, it's testing me. Yeah, no, that's great. I'm just because there's a you know I, I might I might want to maybe potentially if I wanted to make a stop on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's it's, it's outskirtsy stuff, Cat and Old Cat. Yeah, Greater Norwich, as we like to call it. 
I'm looking at a lot like London. Remember, guys, it is the only major city for miles. For miles. Miles and miles. It stretches for miles. And if you get into the wrong wrong part, it could go further than you'd ever think. And and major city is maybe a little generous. Uh, I'll have you know it's the second I'll have you know it's the second city of England. At one time. At one time. When was that? At one time. <laughs> when was that? Win- the 12th, Winchester was the capital the 13th, for 1100. It was the 13th century, I seem to remember, when the wool trade was <laughs> okay, at its height. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't see what your problem is, guys. <laughs> In 1233. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, and, but she says, she says notably, I mean, why do they need another son? They've got Michael anyway. Uh, why would they take him from me? I don't understand why they... Tra- I... I I, I think because, because he... It's only because he's blessed. It's because he's blessed, Eric. That's why. It, he's, all of it, All of David's hopes are now in him. He, he, may, he may be blessed. He, uh, uh, Sean, I'm sure Sean is blessed in a lot of ways. He's blessed to have you as a mother. But David is sick. David is unwell. How old's Michael? That's a very good question. She answers immediately. <laughs> With this information. <laughs> Which spills from her mouth. Just because I have doesn't mean that she hesitates. Trips off the tongue. Well, she's so verbose. So Michael is uh, Michael is eighteen. Oh, he's eighteen. Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. There we go. I mean, like he's like a grown man. I know, but I mean, even so, they're always so proud of him anyway. I mean, you think <sighs> she gets very tearful. What's What's the actual arrangement? As in. Obviously, you've said that, that Bridget doesn't know about you and David. Well, that's what I was told. That's what I, I've never said anything. As far as you know. But, so, do, does, just to be clear, Sean lives with you, or Sean lives with... Sean, no, Sean's at mine. Yes. So, Bridget doesn't want... Bridget doesn't know about Sean, then, surely, if she doesn't know about you and David. Exactly. Bridget doesn't know about any of this. This is... This is the... So, it can't be coming from her, unless... He has told her, which is a possibility, of course, and you just don't know. But I think, um, I think, it sounds like this is coming from David. Could could the three of you give me a psychology roll apart from Alicia when her eyes start flickering madly as she's trying to follow Ray's line of inquiry? Um, I failed that psychology roll. <gasps> Ooh. Ninety-one. Oh, no. Sounds sounds like a fail. Oh, no. A hard, yeah. a hard success. Sixteen on a thirty. Oh, mm. I mean, it seems from what I from what she said so far, it seems to me that Bridget is completely oblivious to this whole thing, mm. right? But she's also said, has she not, that she thinks they both want Sean? No, no, she's oh, never I mentioned thought, Bridget. I thought, wanting Sean. I thought, oh, <laughs> unless I've, I don't think she, she'd perhaps somewhat hastily implied it. Um, and right. Ray, Ray picked up picked up on something maybe there. I don't know, but yeah. but Ray, it Eric, could have been a turn of spray. You, I think you're still loyally and doggedly going. I'm still not 100 percent sure. Like, is that a lie? Is that a truth? I'm not sure. Is that, there's something going on here. But I think in that moment, Melinda Moody, you smell lie. Mm. And perhaps it's your nature to just go. Well, whatever's going on, there's some lies kicking around. So. Yeah. What's the story? Hmm. Well, I mean, you can't you can't have a ten year affair with somebody in the same city, city Norwich, and <laughs> and there not be some some funny business going on. It's she, not, yeah, she's like, like that's yeah, it's not tenable. If she doesn't know, it's because she doesn't want to know, yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. but 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 I mean, the other thing is, like, I having I know I fumbled my pushed psychology role, but that doesn't change the fact that I still suspect that. There's, that she's trying to pull a fast one in some way. Mm. Mm. I know. I know. I haven't got any proof of that based on what she's saying about like. No, I, I think. Hey, Ray and Eric, you're suspicious. Mm. Melinda and, and Alicia, she's lying. Yeah, she's definitely lying. The line that got me slightly on edge was when she said anything to get you on side, as we were leaving, mm. which oh, yeah. felt like a sort of a bit of a a, a mouth diarrhea thing but I'm putting that down to I'm being kind hearted and putting that down to she was just desperate to get some support does Ray say anything about that make me I don't think so I think maybe are you all in his car if we've got that far Uh, I've got my own car here you've got your own your own car yeah because I drove here I think drove literally to 
to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To uh, um, oh, wow. Presum- God, well, the parking, the parking would be a nightmare. Let me just think that through. No, well, you know. Do you know what? There's the old, um, there's the old telephone exchange. You, you might still be able to park there. Um, so I think you you parked just actually. It's not that far away at all. It's just past um, St Andrews. So I think you break you you break off to go that way. I'm 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 parked around the corner, but shall 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 I shall we shall I meet you there? What what's the I think you're both oh, parked oh. there. I think you're both parked. Oh, there. fine. Right. Why, yeah, that makes sense. Why in don't convoy. I go? Why don't I go with Eric and you lot? You lot get in Ray's car, yeah. and we'll all go in convoy. Yes, that's a good Great. plan. <laughs> Sarah, you coming with us or? Oh, come on, Sarah. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, come on. yeah thanks. Uh, so come kind on. of you. Oh, guys, I feel like I've made such a fool of myself. No, no you, you haven't. At that's all. enough of that now. We can chat in the car, guys. Follow yeah. us. We'll um, we'll get the directions. We'll we'll convoy it. Do you think Eric will forgive me? You hear as the as you part company and like, she's. Yeah, of course. There's the, there's the ring of something slightly dramatic about that statement. For you Al- don't want to hold it for Alicia and Eric as you. As you plunge into the silence that can, well, the the near silence that can only be described as a four-story car park. Mm -hmm. It's very small, four stories, but it's Mm. one of those kind of converted buildings. Well, once we're in the car, I think... We sit in silence for a minute, and then I say, at some point, I say, you know, Eric, I don't mind telling you this, but when they told me Gary had died and they found the body, they never told me how the accident happened. They said it might have been black ice, but it wasn't that icy. They don't really know, because it wasn't like there was a collision. He just came off the road, and it's a road he drove on a lot on his bike. He uh, he hadn't hadn't been... um, It wasn't a big... Excuse me, a big drinker, or... It wasn't... No. You don't think there's anything to what... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> These two. <laughs> it's like an episode of Creature Comforts. Fucking hell. With two penguins. <laughs> exactly uh, what I was thinking. <laughs> it was effective, I have wow. to say. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You don't think... The light, the light becomes... To, we, need to get to the, we need to get to Cosmic Horror quick, because otherwise people are going to turn right off. The light, the light, the light becomes pale. Um, hang on, hang and, on. Let me and finish what I was going to say. We came for the cosmic horror. We stayed for the creature comforts. <laughs> we stayed for the financial advice. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the risk breakdown. You don't think there's any? You don't think there's anything to what Sarah said, do you? About David being responsible in some way? No. Look, how 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 could he be responsible? It's, that's ridiculous. Um, he. Uh, no, it, it's an accident. She's, it, she, you know how these people are. They, they. She's always been like that. She probably saw that. Maybe she read a news report. I, I, I have to say myself. I think maybe she, this is some sort of confidence trick. Um, listen, I wasn't going to say anything t- to the others, but I, 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 I am unwell. Um, she said it was cancer. Is that what it is, Eric? Is it cancer? Fuck me. I... Well, yes. How did she... But I only got the results fucking yesterday. How, how would she... How would she know? I put my hand on his hand. I say, how would she know? I don't like this, Eric. I don't like this... We cut across to the other car with Ray driving and Raman riding shotgun. Riding shotgun, and, and the two girls in the, the back. The two girls in the back. Melinda's in the back, and it's a very tearful. Sarah's in the boot. Emotional. <laughs> <laughs> very tearful. We'll look after you. And a, an emotional. Um, <laughs> Tied up, bag overhead. 
Sarah, <laughs> and uh, she's sort of not looking at you, Melinda. She's sort of looking out of the, she's looking out of the window, uh, and just kind of her eyes are a bit glassy again. You see that glassy expression. Oh no! And her head, it's my turn to lose some sanity, her, isn't it? Her head <laughs> lolls slightly further forward again. What reflections am I seeing in the windows? Well, you're not seeing anything, but you're looking so busily out of the window. Do you? Mm-hmm. Do you? Do you see anything? Or do you just look out the window to see what she's looking at? Can I roll? Can I roll something, please? What? A, what are you going to try and roll a spot hidden, or are you going to try and roll a? Oh, my spot hidden so shit. What do you? What do you? What do you want to do? I know the general way to that area, so I'm just going to leave it until we're in the area to ask for directions. Perfect. Perfect. That seems like. Can I? Mm-mm. Yeah, okay, I'll roll a spot hidden. I think, Ray, you're conscious that you saw where they were headed for the car uh, and the other two haven't left. They aren't following you down the track. They're, they're obviously delaying leaving as you've, you're coming out of the... Well, in which case... It's a gigantic fail. Spot hidden, how big a fail? How big a fail on this? 96 on a 30. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on, 35. I gave you plus 10. 35. Yeah, sorry. It's still 96. It still doesn't make it. It's still a fumble. That, still a fumble. That, unfortunately is a fumble. Oh dear. That's not a fumble, that's like a self-fisting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, I, th- I, I think Sandy Peterson um, termed it a fumble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-fisting. But we do have an option for a t-shirt logo there, so yeah. we'll put that to the board. <laughs> that's not a fumble, it's a self-fisting. That's not a fumble, <laughs> that's a self-fisting. I want it on a mug, and I want it by Tuesday. And while we're cooking up whatever horror that produces, just to be clear, if I've seen them... St- I'm going to wait for them, just on the bend outside the car park. Perfect, perfect. You stop actually at the at actually sort of the, the, the closest point that you can stop, and and yeah. you see Sarah's eyes flicking around, um, and yeah. this motorbike crashes into a van. Fucking <laughs> smacks into it, uh, and the rider just goes spinning off it. Uh, oh my god! Uh, shit! And. Uh, it goes sliding down the road and you hear the scream of a passerby and, and the, the screaming of, of, of brakes and you're just kind of you, you're, you're sat there uh, and, the, and the wheel of the motorbike just goes spinning and spinning and spinning uh, and back in the car Alicia you hear, you hear this and it's playing in your mind as you're talking to Eric about well just moments after you finish talking about what happened to Gary? Oh God, um, do I see it? Uh, you don't see it, but Melinda, you see stepping out from behind the van, oh, no. uh, a man in a tweed suit, oh dear, with gold-rimmed glasses, blonde hair, tall, elegant. He looks like he's from another age, and he looks at the motorbike and smiles, and then he looks straight at you. And his smile does not alter. What the fuck? Do I recognise him? Have I ever seen him before? And when are you going to roll sanity? Oh. But this, so it hit the van right in front of us, just after I... It's, it's, you've pulled, up, pulled in on the left, yeah. and they are right next to you. So the bike's hit the van, and the rider's gone straight past the, the, the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is another 96, but this time on a 60. Okay, so it's not a fumble. It's not a fumble. Okay. It's a self-esteem. Figures start running, and and a figure rushes in front of this guy, and he's not there. And I think that's what triggers the one sanity loss. He was in this lovely tweed suit with gold glasses. Um, Gold circles. Two... Gold circles. Oh dear. But now he's not there. Having not seen that, I think I just say, We have to help. We have to see if we can help put Raman in my papoose and I go to get out of the car and. <laughs> no, no, don't. No, don't. I, I can't. Just drive. We just, we've got to drive. But there's someone hurt. No, no, we've there's... got to go. Please just go. Ray, we've got to go. Um, how many no. people. <laughs> I, I think we have it's to weird. release we have to, all right. we have to let the... And you, you can hear the siren already, but she's she's really... She, like, she, she leans over to you, she, she grabs your shoulder, she goes, please, please. I think Raman goes... 
<laughs> Does he seem uneasy about me getting out? Uh, he seems uneasy, but that might just be because this crazy woman in the back is, no. is, is grabbing you and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and crying hysterically. I mean, my first aid isn't great, but... Melinda, I'm thinking you might be either frozen in fear or there's an option that you might feel like there's something else that you do as an involuntary action. Uh... I think I put my hand over Sarah's mouth and with my other arm just hold, try and hold her still. <laughs> nice, nice. Could you give me a? Uh, could you give me a strength roll? Yes, 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 I can. If it's another ninety-six, I'm going to be super freaked out. Oh, your dice are loaded. Thank God it's one. not. It's that is a thirty-one on a fifty-five. Nice. <laughs> Okay, right. Well, it's 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 better than me because I failed. Uh, so yeah, you you do you clamp her down. And her eyes go wide, but she I mean she looks absolutely terrified. And you wonder if she might have seen something too. Yeah, but I just needed to, I needed to stop jabbering in my ear yeah, for a minute. Yeah, just, I needed I need I need her to just be calm and quiet for a bit. Eric, do you start to drive? Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and uh, I. I, as I drive, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm saying, uh, it's, uh, I'm still waiting for some, some, some tests. They're not quite sure how far it's progressed. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping that um, it, it's, it's going to be operable. Uh, I'm, I'm on some medication at the moment. I'm just sort of talking, like, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, really to calm myself more than to explain it. You can, else. and and yeah, I, you can hear the siren as you're saying, it and you feel how what's in this odd counterpoint moment. Yeah, and I'm 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 driving down the um, the uh, I think the the Aylesham Road. Well, if if, and, if you're uh, going to get that far, you'll have driven past them. Oh, okay. Uh, because they're literally just on the on the outside on a little layby outside the old telephone exchange. Yeah, because I was waiting because we're taking directions. And and this, I mean, and this. Right. Okay. And this accident this crash has happened was real, basically right outside, just outside the. Okay, I think. But, but it's before anything's closed down, so the two of you could drive off. But then there's a kind of. I'm sort of stood with half out of the door, looking over, trying to gauge whether there's enough people. My first aid isn't that good. I can hear sirens. They're saying drive on. Raman's panicking, so there's a part of me that's like, do I drive or do I go over? I feel like I should go over, but I don't think I'll be any help. But if I see them driving up behind... At that yeah. point, Ray, you see the, the rider get up and just kind of shaking his head and he sort of takes the helmet off and he, 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 shakes, he shakes his head. Oh, thank God. And you, and you hear, like, what the fuck happened? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, uh, I'm not hurt. I'm all right. I'm all right. I sort of... I get back in, I say. No. I think he's all right. I th- there's enough people there would have witnessed it. I think we can get on. There's enough stress already. And I, I go to sort of slowly... Yeah, let's just go. Slowly indicate round and sort of do a big circle around the incident hopefully seeing Eric and Alicia's car behind but yeah yeah yeah. yeah they were, in which case I, I think we maybe slow down past the yeah. the incident yeah uh, but you know d- don't stop time to look yeah right hand drive uh, Alicia you sat on the left side left vehicle so you're going to have to overtake to come around so as you drive round you drive past the guy and there's, there's a couple of people there and you can see in your rear view mirror Eric because you are technically still behind because Ray goes mm-hmm. first um, sure uh, you see in, you see there's a paramedic ambulance vehicle coming up must have just been close must have just been lucky must have just been immediately directed I'm so, I'm sorry uh, sorry n- nast- nasty sight oh that's what we've just been talking about, Alicia. Yeah, could you give both give me a spot hidden, Alicia and Eric? Mm. Uh, uh, penalty die for you, Eric, because you're driving. Uh, I, well, I don't need the penalty die, although I suppose I'd better roll it in case I fumble, but I've already failed it. No. That, that fine. is a hard success. A hard success, perfect. So um, just as you're pulling away from, from distance and you're sort of you, you, you're looking back, uh, I think your eye catches in the wing mirror. Um, the, the, the guy on the bike turns around uh, and it's Gary. Stop the car. Fuck. What? Uh, are, you, are you feeling all right? No. 
Uh, let, let me look for somewhere to pull over, and I, I do. I'd see. If... I need to get out of the car. Oh, all right. Just do, hang on. Let me find somewhere safe to pull over. And I, I. You get out. Ray spots it. He slows down in front. You get out. What's going on? And I shout. I shout oh, across no, the road. Stop. Gary. Gary. Uh, and the guy, the guy, the guys. He's been talking to this person. He's sort of turned back. He turns around. It's not Gary at all. It's not him. I, I jump out of the car and sort of run as fast as I can, which isn't particularly fast, um, to, to Alicia and, and, and try and sort of put an arm around her. Oh, this is Alicia. Are you okay? What? what it's... This is going to sound crazy. I thought it was Gary. I looked in the rear view and I. In the wing mirror, it looked exactly... I thought it was Gary. I, oh, sorry, I... No, 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 oh. I, it makes sense. After the conversation we were having, it's, it, that's not... That's 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 a natural reaction. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... I, I I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's not Gary, Alicia, it's... It's I, OK. It's OK. Do I need to do a sanity roll for that? Yeah, go on. Give us a sanity roll. Success. Yeah, I think that's OK, because... You might have imagined having seen Gary once or twice since his death. But I certainly think it's left you rather shaken and preoccupied. And I think it's Eric who ushers you back into the car. And maybe you're not quite at your usual expert ability of noticing everything around you. And perhaps that could be said for maybe all of you in the journey as you drive away out of the centre of Norwich. By the time you get to... Uh, the old cat and estate <laughs> it's 4.30 and that's where we'll pick up next time Ooh. outside Sarah Moore's rather run down looking apartment mm. fantastic <laughs> Ooh, horrible Every time you've said you see, yeah. I'm prepared for it to be something horrendous. <laughs> well, and luckily, it's, sometimes yeah. it isn't, right? Sometimes it isn't. I mean, sometimes it's, it's just weird things. Mm. Yeah. It's doing bad things yeah. to my anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> right? That figure. Mm. The figure. And then the glasses man. <laughs> also, just so you all know, I'm, I'm so... Inwardly attached to Ram and the dog, the fiction dog. Yeah. I will abandon all of you. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's absolutely bad. As long as you don't abandon the dog, next yeah. session you'll have forgotten you own him. It's true. No, that was that was just Buster. <laughs> Do not <laughs> forget the dog. Do not forget the dog. We should all write. To me dog. too. It's to me dog. too. I nearly forgot dog. about Ram. And... Dog. Poo uh, poo 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 Ram. Multi poo in the papoos. Multi poo. Yeah. I really hope that my stupid voice isn't detracting too much from the gravitas of the, the scenario, Joseph. I, I thought it was brilliant when the two of you were talking in the car. I loved it. <laughs> and it's the, the seriousness of the subject matter made it even better. Right. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. All right, night, night, legends. See you soon.
this music is too it's too intense. Let's go back to the Spotify. The reason why is because I wanted to try it out, but it is sort of it's quite a good vibe for the whole kind of cafe meeting. This is what a romantic dinner with him is like. Yeah, oh yeah, ever so much. Hang on, that's not right. It's not right. Twenty five full starts. We need uh, candles. We need candles. Try all the different chairs out around the table. And then they're closing. <laughs> Let alone anything else more intimate, for goodness sake. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's astonishing <laughs> that we have we've produced a child. It's astonishing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fluke. <laughs> why is Spotify so counterintuitive to me, guys? I mean, most apps are counterintuitive to me. Yeah. I, oh, God, here we go. Can you guys hear anything? Um, I can hear Not music. You lot chatting. I can't hear anything. Very, very quiet oh, music. Yeah, no, I can. Oh, it's really quiet. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a kind of. It's kind of. It's too. It's too. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. So quick, quiet. Oh, I, I see. Now that's the whole album. I don't want the album. It might be shit. <laughs> the starters are here. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we didn't want the set menu. God, I know. Fuck it's sake. all right. Let the soup be over soon. Let it be over. Let it be over. Testing menu. I'm sure the wine's fine. We don't need to. I can't hear it. Can no, I, I can't hear anything. Okay, we're trying the wine. Okay, okay back we go. Back we go. Okay. Let's try some more music, shall we? <laughs> it's too it's too moody. Maybe it'll kick in. <laughs> too moody. Oh. Can we have another bottle of wine? Oh, is that can we get oh can we get the bread basket refilled, please? <laughs> oh, Thank I'm you. So Thank tempted you. to tell you all to fuck off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you just channel it, channel it in the old fashioned way. So yeah. Eric beating. you get shot in the face. Alicia <laughs> You're okay. A sniper uh, wait, what? Ray, you dive for cover, find ten thousand gold pieces about three levels. <laughs> Ramen no uh, Melinda Cheers for the money. A demon, a demon comes out of the woman next to you. And I will now control your character for the rest of the game. You can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I'd love it if that was real. <laughs> dance, magic dance. <laughs>